G'day everyone, so I've been playing a bit of Battlefield 2042 recently. I worked out a nice mouse and keyboard profile for it to use with the Zen. In um, this video, I'm going to share it with you and show you how to set that up. So let's get into it. Now what you want to do is plug your Zen into your PC the same way you normally do when you're putting scripts on and stuff. So that's with the mini USB that plugs into the right hand side of the Zen, other end into the PC obviously. You're going to open up Zen Studio and you're going to come to this m &K settings tab. Now what you want to do, I've already done it, but what you want to do is you want to come to this part here that says load a default layout. You want to click that one and hit yes so it loads just a default layout here uh, for us to work with. Now, from there, what you want to do is you want to import my mouse and keyboard profile for this one. You're going to find a link for that in the description. Now, you're going to go to this button up here. You can see import layout. You're going to click that one. And what you need to do, you need to make sure that you come to this part here. See where it says layout bin files? You need to click that. You need to change it to the ZMK file and then it will show. Once you've changed that and you've got the profile there, you just double click and that will load that profile onto there. Now, this is how I like it. If you want to change any of the button mappings, go ahead and do that. If you get into the game and you don't like the sensitivity, maybe it's too fast or it's too slow. All you need to do is increase or decrease the sensitivity, this one here, on the hip and the ADS profile. So there's ADS and there's hip. You need to change the sensitivity of both of those. That's if you don't like how it is set up. So once you set it up with this and set it up how I have the in-game settings, if you don't like that mouse and keyboard feel, say for example, it's a bit too fast for you, all you'll do is you'll come into this part here. You would then reduce the sensitivity on the hip part, click on ADS, reduce the sensitivity again, make sure they're matching. And then all you're gonna do is click this button down here. Once you finish with everything, so click that, that'll finalize the layout and save everything to the Zen. Okay, now let's have a look at some script settings here. I've been using the Taylor Drift competitor Evo script Script. That's the newest one. If you want to download that one, there'll be a link in the description for it. Or you can also join the Taylor Drift Discord and download it from there. There'll be a link to the Taylor Drift Discord in the description as well. So on the left-hand side, you can see the values I'd use with controller. On the right-hand side is the values I'd use with the Zen and mouse and keyboard. I've mainly been playing with mouse and keyboard, but I spent a little bit of time just working out some values and stuff on controller. But all of those you can see on the left, controller, anti-recoil, I've been using rumble. Now with the weapons, because you can switch attachments and stuff mid-gameplay, you're going to have to sometimes adjust anti-recoil as you go. So I just use the rumble anti-recoil when I'm on controller. Uh, over on mouse and keyboard here on the right hand side, you can see I'm only using the one aim assist. I've got Taylor aim assist on there. That's on ADS and fire or fire. And you can see all the settings there as well. And for the anti-recoil, when I'm on mouse and keyboard, I only use standard or legacy anti-recoil. And that's between five and 20. Again, depends on the weapon that I'm using and the attachments that I'm using on that one as well. Now this script isn't obviously made for Battlefield, but it does work. It's not optimized for it, but uh, it does work and it works quite well. And one last thing to take note of on the right hand side over here, the far right hand side, you can see my deep PI and polling rate for the mouse as well. Make sure you take note of those. If you are on console, I believe the polling rate they recommend is 250 hertz and also the DPI they recommend, I think is about 4,000 or somewhere around there. So um, make sure you're abiding by those and then adjusting from there. If you are on PC like me, you can use the 10K DPI and the 1,000 polling rate. All right, now let's go through some in-game settings for this one. Now controller um, on foot, I'll have a look at the global ones, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same. I don't play on inverter. So we've got on foot. Now we've got soldier aim sensitivity. That's turned up to 100. Field of view, been rocking 90. That seems to be all right. Uh, aim assist and that sort of zoom snap. I'm pretty sure that's for a uh, campaign or something like that. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Maybe the aim assist one does, but but I'll just leave them at 100 either way. Uh, aiming left, right acceleration, got that on 100. Vertical aim ratio, 48. Uniform soldier aiming, got that one turned on. And coefficient, 133. Now in the vehicles, I've got vehicle aim sensitivity set to 70. That's how I like it. If you get into a tank and it's a bit too crazy or a bit too slow, that's the one you're gonna need to adjust. Over on controller tuning, which is the next one over. Controller vibration, that one is turned on. Center dead zone, axial dead zone for the controller left stick. Uh, that's on 1010. Max input threshold up to 100. Controller right stick, 1010 up to 100 as well. And the triggers, I'm pretty sure that's all default. And over on the joystick, the last one, I'm not sure what the difference is. I've changed these ones and then these ones, I don't know. These ones are the same. I've left them pretty sure they're default. 22, 15, 100. But that's all I use and it works out pretty well. Got some clips to show you, so let's get into those. And there we go. So that's everything I needed to go through for the video. You've got the mouse and keyboard profile. You've got the in-game settings. You've got the settings for the script and you know where to download any of those. So make sure you check the description if you do want to download it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those in the comments. For now, we'll get into those clips. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Fred marked 190 degrees, 300 meters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> <laughs>
parachute won't survive. Weather instruments are lighting up red. Don't lose sight of your surroundings. Bam, 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 bam. Let's go right here. Yeah, that reverse jacket really. There you go. Oh, oh I think we're getting fisted by a helicopter or something. Get me the fuck out of here. Wait, you flipped, you flipped. Fucking boom. Oh, boom the ass. What the fuck? He's the taking fucking back <laughs> He had five health. Get me in, coach. Didn't know he would up there like that, but oh, we got the way, mate. Fuck. Surely one of the homies picks me up. Come on, I'll make my way there. These guys are all oh, gonna be a grenade. What a shot. Oh, I'm shot in the back. Where is he? I don't know, out there somewhere. Oh, that's not bad. I tracked it. Already. Where'd he go down? Got him. Can we have so much skill? Me? Hey, I've honestly got to see that over. Actually, get kind of good at this stomping shit. Yeah, so, no, I slide down for me, thank you. That's one of the robot dog. Oh, hoo -hoo. 